Working to ban unpopular speakers is the trendiest thing on campus since beer pong and red solo cups. Earlier this month, sociologist Charles Murray tried to speak at Middlebury in Vermont. A bunch of students got so worked up that they assaulted a professor trying to escort him to a car. That professor was later hospitalized. The event was canceled. Vincent Philip Munoz is a professor at Notre Dame. He's invited Murray to speak at this school next his school next week on Tuesday. The usual complainers are out in force demanding that he rescind that invitation, but he says he will not. Professor Munoz joins us tonight. Professor, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So simple question, why'd you invite him, given what happened at Middlebury, and why won't you back down? Well, we invited him uh, months ago, and uh, we're reading his book in my class. So he's coming to speak to my class. Which, which not going to back apart? down because we're uh, coming apart. Yeah, we're reading Coming Apart and Bob Putnam's uh, book, uh, Our Kids. And uh, we have a liberal, we have a conservative. We invited Bob Putnam last year, so we're going to have Charles Murray this year. So what's the reaction been? You know, there a handful of um, those on the left are pretty unhappy. Uh, some of my faculty colleagues wanted me to disinvite them and were pretty dismayed that we did so in the first place. But I have to say, I've gotten, uh, since the article came out a couple days ago, I've gotten almost 100% positive response. So in the piece, you write about um, the rationale for banning campus speakers, and you say that um, some in college faculties argue that the kids are too sensitive to hear points of view that they disagree with, that it'll, it'll wound them um, if they're exposed to these ideas. And I wonder if that's sincere. Do the professors really believe that, or is that just a way to justify squelching ideas they disagree with? Yeah, I think some, some think they're protecting the students, and I just disagree with them. Uh, some, to be honest, are using the students to advance their, their own agenda. Uh, if, there's, uh, if there are problems with race or gender or what have you on campus, uh, those professors will get more resources directed towards their programs. And so they have an incentive to, to make issues where really there are no issues. Ah, uh, market forces at work once again. So it seems to me that yeah. you're doing, yeah. <clears throat> well, colleges, I beg your pardon, I'm overcome with emotion at the traditional role you're playing in a college, which is to expose people to ideas they haven't heard before and to challenge their beliefs and basically to, to teach in the spirit of free inquiry and freedom of speech. Is that not shared, do you think, universally on your campus by professors? Uh, you know, Notre, Notre Dame is pretty good now. It's not shared universally, and Notre Dame's better than most places. Uh, our administration has been great, our senior administration, no pressure from them. But Notre Dame, um, you know, it's no surprise, faculty tend to lean left and um, yeah, I mean, you ask, you know, isn't this what we're supposed to do? This is exactly what we're supposed to do. This is my job. I bring speakers to campus. I assign books, not because I agree with them, because that's what I do. And we're supposed to argue about them. And I'm not just going to assign books that I agree with or the kids agree with. Right. We sign, assign those books that are smart. And Murray's a smart guy, and we should hear him whether we agree with him or not. I should say, by the way, I have no idea what your political views are. I sincerely don't. I hope you won't tell me. I bet your students don't know, and that's exactly how it should be. In the 10 seconds we have left, do you expect a problem? Do you expect people to freak out and assault you? I hope not. Uh, I'm relying on the football players in my class to protect me, so we'll, we'll see. <laughs> you are an old-fashioned man. I like that. Professor Munoz, good luck, and thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me.